Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mike from Mass here. Mass Aquariums. And you know what? I've gotten a lot of comments lately on uh, what do I dose my planta tank? How do I get it so lush? And what, what am I dosing? So let's do a video on what I dose, what not to dose, what to dose, what to dose, what is the dose? Um, so I'm going to try to make this as short as possible you guys know me but uh what 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 am i doing to take care of this tank um it's taken me believe it or not a whole year roughly nine to ten months to dial this tank in and it has not gone without struggle or questions that i f throw out to all my youtube buddies uh Nick Mach 007, ADU Aquascaping, you know, I, I have a bunch of questions just like you guys that are asking me that I'm putting this video up. You know, I ask all my YouTube buddies, you know, when I have a problem. How do I do this? How do I do that? Blah, blah, blah. You know, but it's taken me a while to get this tank completely balanced. And how do you know a tank is balanced? Uh, nothing is changing or fluctuating within the past couple months now when you first start up a planted tank you're gonna go up down up down now this tank has been as perfect as you can get for a couple months now no algae or you know minimal algae no crazy hair algae or black beard or anything like that um, really just the tank is running really smooth right now so I'm gonna let you know exactly what I do now I hope this helps you guys out that are commenting um, now like I say I'm no master of the uh, you know plant MD I don't have a doctorate in planted tanks but I'm gonna tell you what works for me and I hope it'll work for you now I have uh, pressurized co2 hooked up on this tank now that will definitely help control your algae um, I run it on about three, two to three bubbles per second, and I do a water change roughly, you know, I would say right about now, it's about every 10 to 14, 16 days. I don't do a weekly water change. I do every 10 to two weeks, you know, 10 days to two weeks. And when I do do a water change, I've learned, you know, I know everybody out there, you know, 50% water change, 80% water change. Take that water out, put that water in. No, it, did, it didn't work for my tank. I do about right here, which is probably about a 10 to 20% max water change. I have learned with this tank, and this is my tank. It doesn't necessarily have to do with your tank or what you do, but... The more water I take out of my tank, the worse the balance gets out of whack, if you will. So I do 10, 20% max water changes every one to two weeks, and this is working perfectly for my tank. The water is crystal clear, the fish are happy, the plants are crazy, and uh, it just works for me. So like I said, rambling again. Okay, let's get back on topic. That's what works for me. 20 10 to 20 percent water changes every one to two weeks let the tank take care of itself that's why you have your filter that's why you have your plants let them do the job let them create the ecosystem let it go all right what do i dose so when i do do my water change i dose flourish now this is a super 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 concentrated uh micronutrients this 5 mls, excuse me, 10 mls will take care of 100, 160 gallon, 160 gallons. So this bottle right here is going to last me for the rest of my life, pretty much. So I dose the recommended dose for my tank after every water change. Now, every day I dose Flourish Potassium. Every other day... I dose, douche, I douche, I dose Flourish Iron. Now, when I say every day, on day one, if you're doing a schedule, I dose potassium. On day two, 
I dose iron. On day three, I dose potassium. Day four, iron. Day five, potassium, and so on and so forth. I dose potassium and iron every other day. And I dose the recommended dose per gallons of my tank. Now, I dial it down just a tad. So let's just say the recommended dose for 75 gallons is 15 mLs. I do about 13 mLs. Uh, the recommended dose for a 75 gallon is 7.5 mLs of iron. I'm doing about 6.5 mLs. Now, this is all through an entire year of trial and error. You know, you can't. I'm sorry. You can't, like, take away all variables at the same time. You do one variable at a time. Is there a problem in the tank? Let me take down my potassium. Uh, then let me take down my iron. Let me bump up my iron. Let me bump up my CO2. Let me take down my flourish. You know, it was a whole year of dialing in that I f have finally found the balance in a tank. And that, that is key. Balance is great. And it takes a long time, too. I'm, talk I'm not only talking dosing. I'm talking uh, how your circulation pumps are hooked up. Um, how often do you cl clean your filter? Um, how often do you do water changes? So I'm finally at peace with this beautiful tank. Uh, the fish have never suffered. They're always golden. But the plants was my main concern in this tank. I wanted this tank to be a nicely planted tank. And it is. And now I can clip plants, propagate, do nice water changes, and dose accordingly. Now, for everybody who is asking me all these questions about dosing, um, you know, I would start with iron and potassium and flourish on your water changes and dose half of what they recommend and see how it goes. And if everything's going good and you don't have any algae, uh, maybe bump it up a little bit until you can get to your full dose. Also, six months into this tank, I started pressurized CO2. Maybe probably even eight months into this tank, I started pressurized CO2. And that was a huge difference. Trust me, if you have a heavily planted tank, pressurized CO2 is the way to go. If you're dosing, if you have a ton of plants, that's the way to go. Now, if you just want a nice planted tank and not have to do a thing, check out my low tech tank series because I have a beautiful planted tank sitting right next to me with tons of beautiful fish, tons of beautiful plants. I have no dirt, no high light, no CO2, no dosing, no nothing. So you can have this or you can have a perfectly tank similar to this without doing a thing. So. That's my spiel on dosing. I hope I answered all your questions. Uh, go check out my low-tech tank series, and you can have the exact same beautiful tank without doing all that mess. Trust me, high-tech equals high-maintenance. High-lights equals high-maintenance. Pressurized CO2 equals high-maintenance. Dirt substrate equals high-maintenance. So if you want to take care of your tank and do it on a daily basis, this is the video for you. If you want to have a beautiful planted tank and not do anything but feed your fish and still have a beautiful planted tank, go check out my low tech tank series. Uh, also, check out my Facebook page, Mass Aquariums. Uh, I've just started it about two months ago. We've already got over 300 members. It's a great place to post your videos, post your comments, ask questions, salt water, fresh water, the works. People love this. You post a comment, it's super easier than comments on YouTube. You post something and you're gonna get like 10 responses from a ton of people that know what they're talking about all at once. So that's great. Also, go check out Aaron's Aquarium Facebook page and his channel on YouTube. His, his Facebook page is awesome. It's mostly salt water, but uh, it applies to everything as well. So I've done enough rambling. This is Mike from Mass. I'm out.